Welcome to DIRdirect.com. Today we're looking at suit inflation systems, trying to answer your most frequently asked questions on the issue, either by email or on the phone. As many of you already know, our website is extremely easy to navigate and find what you need. You have the option of a steel or aluminium cylinder with the full system, which comes with mounting loops that have friction pads, a first stage, and obviously anything else that you need to attach it to your back plate. The first stage with the overpressure relief valve on it and the other components like the bolts and screws will come separately for you to put together once the system arrives. The cylinders are easy to identify. The white one is steel, the black one is not. The steel cylinder looking similar has a longer neck whereas the aluminium cylinder has a shorter neck basically it's stubby together the two cylinders are almost identical though the aluminium cylinder is a bit longer when we look at the valves the valves themselves are identical underneath the steel cylinder is basically oval whereas the aluminium cylinder has a flat bottom not that it matters, but the aluminium cylinder can be left standing up, whereas the steel one cannot. Reading the markings on the neck of the cylinders, you see the steel cylinder is 1.69 kilogram. Quite heavy in that sense, taking off a lot of weight from your weight belt. The aluminium cylinder is 1.2 kilos. And it's obviously lighter on the surface, but more buoyant when empty. The two cylinders look identical but for the visual difference, the steel is obviously better for salt water, uh, has better uh, corrosion resistance. The BTS mounting loops that are supplied for these cylinders uh, as part of the kit have uh, very strong rubber holders inside that really really grip the cylinders made by BTS dive systems and uh, once you put a cylinder in there's probably no way you're going to get it out unless you actually uh, undo the velcro yourself here we go we're putting one around a cylinder as tight as it gets and you'll see it's really a very very good fit and it leaves plenty of space also for the second one if you wish to use both and make it even more secure with a bungee at the bottom of it the second uh, band will obviously make it far more secure against your back plate so what we'll do is we'll put that one on just to demonstrate how it goes on very good velcro on these and they're very tight both of them used together the first stage that comes with the system is a standard 300 bar din fittings first stage uh, it's got three ports first port that we're looking at is basically the high pressure port here and we turn that the low pressure port for your dry suit inflator and the third port is the overpressure relief valve which you should not really take out because it's already pre-adjusted to 11 and 12 bar high pressure port does not come with a high pressure uh, SPG so you would have to purchase that separately if you really need one here we take a closer look at the overpressure relief valve which has a little spring in it. If you take it out, it may be lost. Come to the back plate, we're looking at a standard back plate with a continuous loop harness. There's no adjustable system that could get in the way. Cylinder will normally sit on the left hand side of the diver. So the right hand side is free for the long hose system and a canister torch or anything else to keep the long hose in place. The left hand side what we can do is easily take the bands and we position them under the existing holes and you'll see it's really easy to put the system together what we're doing is just bolting it in and then we need to tighten it now there's a special tool to make it tighten which i'm holding in my left hand and what we're doing is just doing a demonstration of it and the cylinder goes in it's a bit loose at the moment this is just a demo and when we put the cylinder in tighten the velcro straps and it's as safe as anything there's no way that it's going to go anywhere 
but if you still want you can put a bit of bungee under the lower um, hole on the back plate and what that would do is keep the cylinder head closer to your body um, stop rattling and stop moving around but it's a personal choice issue come to adjustable systems such as the Halcyon Synth system the situation is just slightly different because you have two alternatives if you think it gets in the way the system such as that first way to do it is just by using one of the bands and using a bottom hole uh, to put a bungee to keep the cylinder in place as you saw previously one band is secure enough as on its own anyway and uh, there are a lot of divers who actually use the bands for different purposes one for the cylinder one for something else we're putting that back in place again and the cylinder is in place and position as you'll see the only thing is even though it's secure it will move at the valve end so to keep that movement uh, to prevent that movement what you can do is attach a bit of bungee there and keep it in position once it's on you it'll be secure enough we have received requests to show how the second band could go in it's not that complicated all you need to do is just really hold the back plate in a different position before you put it in so what we're going to do now is demonstrate that for you if I try it that way looking down on it you'll actually see it's incredibly difficult getting the hole right because the cinch adapter is in the way instead what I would do is lift the back plate turn it over have your bolt in position there and then take the band the octo grip put it in position then take the end the bolt and start putting it in slowly and you'll see that it will find a grip I'm not using the tool at the moment the tool is really for tightening as such and that is in position and what we want to do is to make sure that does not obstruct the use of the cinch system so I'll just loop that together loop the top together just to make the two look equal because we like equal okay and uh, we'll have a look down um, you'll actually see that if I put a cylinder in now that's the aluminium black cylinder which is 200 bar just like the other one uh, they're both 200 bar tested to 300 bar cylinders and you'll see it's a secure fit as always and when we now put a bungee down at the bottom there if you wanted to remember you do need to put the cylinder through the bungee before not after like I'm showing here it was just an example the whole system is ready now I'm looking at the synth system and seeing whether the yes it does slide it slides easily enough so there's no issue there so the whole system works and it's ready to dive it's away from the back plate it's not really going to get scratched that much and that's it just put the first stage in position you can decide on which position you want the first stage we'll take the cylinder out now and have a, another reminder of the first stage which has a overpressure relief valve pre-adjusted 11 12 bar so no reason to play with that no reason to take that out uh, just leave it as it is because it's factory adjusted that's how it's supplied by the manufacturer now underneath you'll see where whichever way it is it's going to be the low pressure and the high pressure ports the hard pressure port will come closed with a port cap the low pressure port will come open that's all there is to it remember so you can safely shop from home we're trying to answer your most frequently asked questions as soon as we can email us all your questions and we'll do our very best to answer as soon as safe diving all